Hi, my name is Matthew Boyd, and as you've probably already noticed, I'm doing a podcast on Isabella I of Castile and how her reforms and actions during her life stopped the Kingdom of Castile from falling into ruins and helped lay the basis for the Spanish Empire and modern Spain. So in this podcast, I'm going to first give you some background knowledge on the topic and then go on to why the Kingdom of Castile was falling into ruin. After this, I will detail the reforms she made, how they affected Spain, and how her actions helped unify Spain and lay the basis for the Spanish Empire and modern Spain. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to give you some much-needed background knowledge on the topic. So before the reign of Isabella, the Iberian Peninsula was made up of several small kingdoms. Castile was one of the three major kingdoms that emerged during the several internal conflicts on the peninsula in the 13th century. The other two major kingdoms were Aragon and Portugal. These kingdoms made up what we know today as modern Spain and Portugal. Before Isabella married Ferdinand, the country had not been united under one power since the 8th century. Who was Queen Isabella though? Well, back in the 15th century, 1474 to be exact, Queen Isabella rose to power in the Kingdom of Castile, succeeding Henry IV. By this time, she was already married to Ferdinand II, and in 1479, Ferdinand succeeded his father, John II of Aragon, and became King of Aragon. As Ferdinand and Isabella were married, this was the first step in the merging of the two kingdoms and the formation of the Spanish Empire and modern Spain. So now that you have some background knowledge on this topic, let's actually start discussing the question. I'd mentioned before that the Kingdom of Castile was falling into ruin, but not why it was happening. Essentially, there was one main reason why it was happening, and it was because of incompetent leadership. Before Isabella rose to power, the previous monarchs of Castile had been useless at ruling and governing the kingdom properly. Notably, the two previous monarchs, John II and Henry IV, had been particularly bad rulers. John II of Castile was a weak leader who let Alvaro de Luna, one of his favourite politicians, rule over the kingdom for him until his wife, Isabella of Portugal, convinced him to kill Luna. His weakness as a leader led to the rising power of the nobles and constant disputes of his right to the crown and that of his successors. King Henry IV, John's successor, was again another weak-minded and incompetent leader. During his reign, the kingdom went to ruin, essentially. The nobles became much more powerful and again were questioning his right to the throne and his heirs. He left the economy of Castile in ruins, as he had sold off royal estates to gain money, but sold them far below their actual price and hadn't regulated coinage production. Also during his reign as king, the rate of crime went up tremendously as he didn't enforce the laws of the kingdom. Well, with all that in mind, let's discuss the reforms and actions Isabella made during her lifetime and how she greatly increased Spain's power. When Isabella came to power, the kingdom was going into a state of ruin and the reforms she made were the things that stopped this from happening. To fix the economic situation that Henry IV had left the kingdom in, she first reclaimed many of the royal estates that Henry had sold or given away. Next, Isabella recognised there was a major problem in the coinage production across the kingdom. Henry, during his reign, hadn't regulated the coinage production, and as a result of this, the amount of coins being produced and the number of mints had increased dramatically. To fix the problem, she assumed control over the mints and shut several of them down so the coinage production could be regulated. As I mentioned before, the crime rate throughout the kingdom was through the roof and there was little or no enforcement of the kingdom's laws. One of the first things Isabella did was to fix this situation and to do so she used the Hermandad. The Hermandad were an organisation of armed individuals used normally for peacekeeping. The already existing form of Hermandad in Castile was modified and Isabella created the Santa Hermandad to regulate and enforce the law. Isabella also helped quell the crime rate in Galicia by charging two officials to deal with it instead of ignoring it, like previous leaders. During her reign, Isabella did not really create many new laws or establish new forms of government. Rather, she reorganised the current system to make it more effective. Nobles had held, in the past, several positions of power, however they hadn't used them to benefit the kingdom. 
Isabella got rid of the honorary positions that these nobles held, only letting them attend council sessions as an observer, and later began to rely more on experienced administrative officials. One of the most important actions Isabella made during her life was to marry Ferdinand. Isabella's decision to do this was a turning point in Spain's history as it essentially united the two kingdoms of Aragon and Castile and allowed much of Spain to become united under one rule. Apart from Granada, which was a small kingdom anyway, the only other power on the Iberian pen Peninsula was Portugal. Before this event, Spain hadn't been united since the 8th century. Another very important action she made during her reign was to finish the Reconquista by conquering Granada. The Reconquista was the organised retaking of the Iberian Peninsula by several Christian kingdoms. Granada was the last kingdom that belonged to the Muslims since the start of it, as it was protected by the geography surrounding it. When it was reclaimed in 1492, after 10 years of war, it finished the Reconquista, leaving only the two United Kingdoms of Aragon and Castile left on the peninsula, apart from Portugal. The last major action Isabella took was to sponsor Columbus's expedition to the Indies. Columbus had been rejected by Portugal and the English until then and was in dire need of someone to sponsor the trip. After seven years of trying, he finally persuaded Isabella and Ferdinand to sponsor his trip. This action taken by Isabella led to the opening of the New World to the Spanish Empire. From all that, I hope it makes sense how Isabella stopped Castile from falling into ruin, what major events happened in her life, and what major actions she made during her reign that had major con consequences. Okay, so now that I've detailed the major reforms Isabella made during her life, I'm going to go over the, th the effects those reforms and actions had. Each reform she made either furthered Spain's power in some way or helped unify it and create the Spanish Empire. Her reforms and actions laid down the basis for the Spanish Empire and modern Spain. Firstly, her restoration of the kingdom's economy had a huge effect on the Kingdom of Castile. It allowed her to finance the war with Granada and aided in furthering the power of Spain. Her reorganisation of the government allowed for a more effective and efficient government which benefited the whole kingdom. Isabella's regulation of law and the reinstitution of the Hermandad helped bring the country out of turmoil. Next, her marriage to Ferdinand had a profound effect on Spain as it essentially united the country under one rule and set up the basis for the empire. Her action against Granada saw the end of the Reconquista, furthered Spain's power immensely and helped change the balance of power in Europe. So now, with all that in mind, how did Isabella help unify Spain and lay the current basis for the Spanish Empire and modern Spain as we know it today? Well, since the 8th century, the Iberian Peninsula, as I'd said before, hadn't been united under one power. Isabella's decision to marry Ferdinand allowed the two largest kingdoms to unify under one power. Although during their lifetime it wasn't actually one single kingdom or power, their grandchild Charles V was able to rule a united Spanish empire because of her actions. Even today, modern Spain's borders are very similar to that of the time. In addition to that, Isabella's other decision to sponsor Columbus's expedition was the other major contributor that led to the massive expansion and formation of the Spanish empire. Columbus's discoveries allowed Spain to radically expand its territory and become one of the world's superpowers at the time. Without Isabella's decision to sponsor Columbus, the Spanish Empire would have never become so great. To conclude my discussion, it is clear that the actions and reforms Isabella made had a huge impact on Spain's history. They brought the Kingdom of Castile out of ruin and laid down the basis for the Spanish Empire as her actions unified Spain whilst furthering Spain's power and influence immensely. Her actions helped Spain become what it is today and helped reduce the colonization of the Americas as she and Ferdinand were the ones that sponsored Columbus's trip where others had not. Thank you for listening to my podcast.